yeah. And I worked at one for 25, almost 30 years. Yeah. Oh, like, no, we could work Yes, yes. I didn't know that you had in Slickville all that time. Yeah. Either, because I just passed the lamp later and I thought, oh, yeah. Uh, I used to go through Slickville on the way to Ivy for some time. Mm. It's my first introduction to Slickville. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, welcome, right. everyone. Let me introduce I'm Sally Lipsky from Plant Based Pittsburgh, and we are so pleased. I'm thrilled. <laughs> Because Joyce Fuller, if you are on our Plant-Based Pittsburgh Facebook, she posts these photos of her creation that <laughs> I slurp over and other people slurp over because really, they're beautiful. And easy. And, and easy. easy, yes. And you have been plant-based for how many years? Uh, it should be about two and a half. Okay. You know, okay. give or take. Give, give or take. Yeah. Well, Whenever yeah. I met you, I was I met you in... 19. Yeah. Yes. Because I had my surgery in May of 19. Okay. So, you know, so I got back on my feet and everything. I was transitioning and, and now it's, yes. I couldn't tell you last time I had me. Can you differentiate for me between plant based and vegetarian? I mean, I call myself a vegetarian. Well, but I eat dairy and I eat plant based, we're whole food plant based, but we'll we'll have this conversation because I would love to we'll talk. Mm -hmm. But what it is is no dairy whatsoever, no eggs, no cheese, and whole food plant based is a subset of vegan in that we eat no animal products whatsoever. So nothing, no meat, no, um, as well as the dairy, but we also um we're low fat, low on processed foods and additives like salt and sugar. So, um, but we, we are, we're so glad that you asked and that you're here because yeah, we're, 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 we'll, we'll talk more. Absolutely. Good question. Okay, so I'm going to hand it over to Joyce. People that are online, know or everybody know that you will be getting the tomorrow you'll get my uh, recording of Joyce you'll also get the recipes and if you have questions I'll be monitoring the chat here so just you know put your questions in the chat room and obviously if you're in person <clears throat> it's easier but so welcome Joyce Okay, thank you. Thank you, Maybe you want to put someone. Okay. Well, first of all, I'll introduce myself. Um, my name is Joyce Valor, Sally said. Um, I back in 2019, I was diagnosed with appendix cancer, wow. which I'm I'll be covering up with an apron, but I wore my shirt because I can't really pronounce of what the actual medical term is. Okay, but um, let's say I just went for a random pap test, okay, to just a regular physician. She was actually a PCP. And she said, um, well, I don't know, you feel a little, feels a little thick, you know, uh, maybe we should do a CAT scan just to just, I just want to roll it out. I saw here a couple of years ago, you had a sonogram on your bladder and you had some fluid in your abdomen. What did they say? That was three years before that. And I said, that it was normal. And she said, well, I don't consider that normal. I'd like to do a CAT scan just to, so I feel better. Okay. So kind of forgot about it, almost canceled it. When I found out I had to drink the smoothie and all this, I don't need this, you know. So she called me at work and she said, I have to inform you, you have ovarian cancer attached to your belly lining. Oh. And uh, the, I'm at work at this point, you know, and the girls in the office are laughing, get out of here, you know. And I'm like, that's what she said. She called me, we're laughing, we're, you know, what do you, you know. And the I come to find out later, she's telling the girls in the office, does she have any family? And I'm sure she thought, what the heck's wrong with her, you know, because I felt absolutely nothing. And I thought, that, what do you mean? Okay, now, I always tell this story. I maybe had a little pocket here, you know, but buy one, get one free Big Macs, I was eating them both. <laughs> I worked at a restaurant and at night I needed to stay awake. Ah, four, four cheeseburgers through McDonald's on the way home, that'll keep me up. 
and I ate them all. I, I mean, that's the way I ate. So was I thinking, no, okay, I gained a little bit of weight. Why did I eat terrible? So I'm not, you know, never thinking this, okay? So fast forward, I go to Pittsburgh. Um, they do, they check the fluid in my abdomen with a syringe. And the girl, when I were in there, I'm on the table, she's laughing. I, I said, I'm here, I have ovarian cancer. And she's like, you ain't got ovarian cancer. She's laughing. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm telling my daughter, I, somebody made a mistake, you know. But then um, they took the, she took the syringe and she's like, look, it's all congealed. It looks like jello. Okay. You don't have, and I'm like, what the heck? Come to find yeah. out it was mucin had engulfed my entire abdomen. Okay. So the doctor who told me in Pittsburgh had probably been there for 10 years, you know. So I had a 12 hour operation which I come to find out later, one in 30 died during the operation. So it was my um, ovaries, my fallopian tubes, eight inches of my colon, obviously my appendix, what? Um, spleen, gallbladder, five, three liters of mucin in my abdomen, they scrape. They put a hot chemo pack on you, pour it in you, and they rock you, because I looked this up later, they rock you on the table, the nurses, and rock you back and forth for an hour and a half. So the goal of all of this was, I he had come in after like a year, I had a scan, and he said, hey, you got a little five millimeter piece sitting on your liver, okay? And he said, if you were older, I'd just let you go. But we may want to do the operation again down the road, you know, and because it literally took almost a year to get back on my feet, you know. So feeling better doing plant-based, talking to him about it, talking, you know, he didn't care what I did, but in my heart, I felt I'm going to do it, you know. So, because um, I was already transitioning before I found this out. I thought I should eat, you know, better and I should try this plant-based and I met Sally before my surgery, you know. So, um, I started doing that and the first year it went from the width of a penny to the width of a silver dollar. So I have problems sometimes of being positive. Okay, my family can tell you, but I, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this to where I don't have to come back for a year. I'm sick of these scans. I'm like, guess who don't gotta go back till next August? <laughs> okay, you know. So it has not changed. Um, I asked him, can I go? can you let me go a year? And he said, eh, let's see what the radiologist said. They called me the next day and they said, you can go a year. It has not changed. It is sitting there. It is the same size. It's, it's five millimeters. And so my thought process is if I can keep, hopefully this helping me and preventing it from growing and not having to have another surgery, it's a win. So I've been trying to, you know, maybe like, um, try different foods and different things, you know, and, and, and I want to tell people it was hard because I live with meat eaters. And when I say meat, I mean, sausage splashing everywhere and burgers and, this, you know, I, I'm the complete opposite now. And it was hard. I want to say the first year of you know, oh, you're not eating steak. You're not eating this. Oh, okay. You're going to get sick. You're going to get this. No. And then after the cancer markers and this and everything else, everybody leaves me alone. So anybody out there that has, you know, or even online that has people in their family that are giving them grief or anything, hang in there because now they don't bother me at all. It's like, it's, you know, it's an absent thought now of, of, of them telling me what to do. So now I have the problem with me. I try to transition everybody. So I'm at work. Hey, eat this, you know, eat. so, you know, and some I have, I mean, you know, I've, I've switched a person from keto to now plant-based. So, you know, Whoa. to me, I'm really, and that's just where I'm at in, in my story. So, you know, have, just a little background. I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I've been curious. So they took off your ovary. Took out my ovaries, my what fallopian else? tubes. And what else? The breast and what else? Your tummy too? No, no, it, uh, in my abdomen, they took out um, ovaries, fallopian tubes, spleen, gallbladder, and eight, eight inches of my colon. And I even had colonoscopies before this, okay? My, my mother had a lot of polyps, and my brother has polyps. So I, 
I was having colonoscopies, you know, you hear about the colon cancer and, and, and when I went to the doctor, she, she said, um, yeah, you had two polyps connected. I took them out and I'm like, oh, where are they at? Way down here, you know? And she goes, and actually they were up here. Mm -hmm. oh. So when I went to Pittsburgh at the Hillman Center, he had told me you would have ended up with colon cancer. Oh my God. And he said that would have been the next step. So he took that whole piece out. So I've had, had I don't have to go every, every three years for colonoscopy, but I did go back and she said, um, I said, I think he took that piece out. And I explained everything to her and she said, yeah, it's gone. He took, that's the piece he took. So, you know, you kind of, it's a, it, it, they talk about silent diseases. I mean, like I said, I would have had no way of knowing. I was fine. And we were la literally laughing about it. And then, then it was like, it set in like, Hey, this is serious, you know? Right. So, I mean, it's just something to, you know, what you go through in life and, you know, knock on wood, you know? So, but anyway, okay. I'm going to make chocolate chip pumpkin muffins first. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I kind of prepped a little bit. I, I made, you know, samples that I made this morning, you know? Um, okay. So I got, I got a clear bowl so everybody can see, hopefully. The, and by the way, this is the first time I've ever done this. So don't judge me when, you know, chocolate chips go flying across the room, but you know, <laughs> so, um, okay. So pretty much, and I've, I've, prepped your food. I'm going to use my hands on this one, but yours is good. Okay. <laughs> prepped up and ready to go. Cause I'm going to do this when we have time, you know? Okay. So first thing, medium banana, you know, just mash it up. Uh, these were, these were pretty ripe. Um, just starting to get a couple little brown marks on the outside, you know? So I mashed them up and then, you know, mashed them up a little more with the, whatchamacallit, when I add the pumpkin. Four. When I add the pumpkin, you know, and I, you don't need to need a mixer or anything like that. Okay. Uh -huh. It's just all very easy. You know, I was packing my, um, my, my children are 30, you know, almost 30 and 33, but they were like, Hey, we'll eat some of that food. If you want to make, I'm like, great. So then I get up, they don't have dessert. So then I was getting up in the morning, making this kind of stuff. And that's kind of how I mastered it, you know, like getting it in the morning, just whipping it up, you know? Okay, so we've got a banana, and then we've got the pumpkin puree, you know, obviously not the, you know, um, pumpkin pie thing, okay, right? Um, and what I did is I brought stuff to show you, so just the pure, 100% pure pumpkin, right? Okay. The whole can. Yes, the whole can goes in here. Okay. Oh, I didn't have any. We'll give it to her. Then we have other steps. Yeah. We have other right there. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, that. Yeah. So, how about you? You want one? I'll give it to her. Yeah, there's two pages. Oh, there are two pages. Oh, okay. Okay. I think who do you want? Who's the brownies? One's a muffin, one a brown. Oh, here, give it to Judy. Okay, so I bought this, believe it or not, at Sam's Club. It's 100% pure maple syrup, and it's organic. So, you know, I, I talked to a nutritionist also, and um, even with your fruits and everything, blueberries and, and all that, you know, they say, oh, well, you should, oh, everything organic and everything. So... I like my blueberries and everything. I um I told her I said, well, I do eat a lot of blueberries and strawberries, but you know I wash them with the vinegar. I just pour them in a bowl of water, pour the vinegar around, sprinkle in some baking soda. It fizzes like Alka Seltzer. And the nutritionist told me if you're doing that, you don't need to eat organic. It's fine. So something to think, again. I, something I to think to, about. You don't need organic when you. I I like. Take the, you know, if there's pesticides or anything on your fruit, I put it in a bowl of water. So your blueberries, strawberries in a bowl of water, pour your vinegar around it, sprinkle the baking soda. It'll fizz like Alka-Seltzer and just swish it around a little bit, rinse it. You don't taste any vinegar. You don't taste no. no white or cider? No, I'd use both. I'd use both. I didn't have apple cider. I used just the white. Just and that would remove thing. any pesticides. Yes. That's okay. So, you know. Okay. So we've got the banana. We've got the pumpkin. And then a uh, quarter cup, the maple syrup. Like I said, I've got this here. Okay, this is all your wet ingredients first. 
I'm be making this tonight. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, it was good for Thanksgiving, but Christmas, I mean, I had one this morning, like I said, and I was saying, oh, Christmas morning, I could go with one of these, you know. So um, no, the syrup, and then you'll find out the right day. Eat the egg, like the teaspoon, and we've got the not the imitation, the pure vanilla, right? Okay, teaspoon of that. Okay, now what I did this morning, just a side note. Okay, so your, your bananas in here, everything's getting pretty much mixed. Okay, on the recipe, in the recipe, it says put all your dry ingredients in a bowl, and then it's said to, I believe it's said to transfer the large bowl and put everything together. And in the large bowl, it's this. So I wanted you to dump it into the dry ingredients. So the first batch I made, I did that. And then as I was turning the bowl, I was uh, pulling up a lot of the oat flour. So I'd go the opposite and pour the dry on top. Mm -hmm. it, it, okay. seemed to, it seemed to work better for me that because you know, I was making a couple batches this morning, okay? So okay. we got our wet ingredients, right? Okay. Now, the oat flour. I did, I don't want to use my Vitamix twice because I have to make the brownies in here, but that's all I did. And I've done it in a food processor with two cups of the oats. Now, what I did is I got these, I go to Laps in La Trobe. It's a bulk place, uh, 270 for this. And it was the here, you know, for the regular rolled oats. And I put the two cups in here. But, you know, you, you might need like two and a half or something to get your flour, okay? So I did that this morning. So that's here, okay? So I got my two cups of the oat flour. Does it have to be floured or can I use the whole oats? No? Well, you, you, know the, I need you know, you need the flour. I think you need the flour. You need the flour. I never tried it with just the regular oats. And when you see the muffins, they have a little bit of the oat in there. I probably could have pulse them a little more, you know, um, and it goes, goes pretty quick. But oh. I mean, I don't know how the whole oats would be. Okay. So then we've got that and we've got, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we need a half a teaspoon of the soda. Easy. Half a teaspoon of the powder. And I liked everything was half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And then it was half a teaspoon of the salt. Okay. And I buy this iodized sea salt. You know, they always say a lot of the recipes I noticed, if you're looking online or anything, everything's sea salt. And they're like, we can't get iodized sea salt. Don't ask me where I found it, but I had it. Mm -hmm. I, I found it and it was so it's it's out there somewhere. I don't even know what brand this hangs pure foods, but I, I use that. Okay, which I like. Okay, so mix that in there. Okay, then we need a uh, cinnamon, teaspoon of the cinnamon. And what I did here was same thing. Now this I got at, this is the good cinnamon salad. What do you call it? Yeah. <laughs> right. So I got this good cinnamon. <laughs> I got this in ball at Nature's Way in Greensburg. They have when there was a pumpkin pie shortage, pumpkin pie spice shortage, they have big bulk. So I said, I'll just get a bag of this instead of ordering it and trying to in paying, you know, fortune and wherever, Walmart, wherever. And it was it was really cheap. I don't pay for it. It's cheap. Um, okay. So we got the cinnamon. Then we need half a teaspoon of the nutmeg. Okay. I'm taking it. The nutmeg. Okay. And we need a quarter teaspoon of ginger. So if you have pumpkin pie spice, you can just add that all up and yeah I mean it. yeah that it may work it. you know just as well but um and what I do is like I had pumpkin from Thanksgiving and I'm like I'm gonna make somebody I gotta make desserts I need to take something to work what can I make with pumpkin and I just google a lot of times the you know whole food plant-based or plant-based you know and then you can weed it out you know some of them do add 
things that if you don't want them, you know, find another one. There's a million recipes out there that, that you know, you can do that. So, okay. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to just add all this in. Yeah. And to me, like I said, it was easier to, you know, add the dry. Yeah. It just, yes. I, I, I was it at looks the, like it's mixing up. Right? Yeah, I was at the end of it and I was like, where'd all this oat flour come from? So I thought it was better to add it on top. And there's little pieces even of, of the banana in here. Fine. It's, it, you know, yeah. You're, you, you see the texture of it. You can use your judgment on that, right? Of what it's going to be. And, and you're yeah. right, Joyce, when you said the rule of thumb is like for a cup of oat flour, right. you put in a one and a fourth cup of oats. Right. So even yeah. if you wanted to put them all, you didn't want to measure right. and take it out. So like, if you look at it, you can see you're asking about the whole oats, you know, putting the whole oat in. You can see the texture of the oats in here. And, and you know, you can buy oat flour. So I'm sure it's like the almond flour and it's like mm -hmm. flour. But I don't know. I like making my own, you know, yeah. I mean, you can it's do whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, so being, you let you buy it in bulk, you know. Okay. Then you need a cup of the chocolate chips. So I usually get this, you know, the, the allergy free, it's free of the um, of egg, milk, soy, whatever, fish, you know, how they put on there, you know. That's but <laughs> yes, oh, Nestle's. Okay, oh, but good. I was in Giant Eagle and I found this brand, exact same ingredients, uh -huh. free of everything else. It was, it was on sale, uh, basic ingredients. I found the regular semi-sweet here. And then I, I was like, hey, double dark chocolate. Oh, so maybe I'll have to do something with that. I just want to show Eagle? you. Yes, these were from John Eagle. And I never saw this brand or anything, so something new, but- And it was on sale. It was on sale. So okay. I was like, hey, I'm gonna buy them all. So I bought my four or five bags just to, you know- There's just, no more left now. Yeah. <laughs> Giant Eagle. Well, that's a great one. one. You have one in Marie's room. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. And then your cup of chips. Okay. Now this was a little, you know, it's it could be, you know, trying to get it out of here a little messy here. Now, what I did is I I made your muffins in the paper, you know, since we're handing them out here, okay. But I was at a sale and I found the silicone cupcake oh, holders. Good. Yeah. And I thought, wow, that would be neat. So I was just going to put the ones I make today in here. Mm -hmm. You wash them, whatever. But I mean, it's a lot to wash, but hey, you got them, you know, and you'll have them. So I kind of just did it that way that I could at least, you know, and I, you know, I made these. Where did you get it? I, it was at a sale, actually. Like a lady a had, sale? yes, it was at a sale. And this lady had all this bakeware in a box. Oh. And somebody had bought it for her. She goes, I never used it. It's, it's, I'm like, hey, because that, you know, it can be, be, be pricey depending what you're getting, you know. And um, so I was like, take it. I can use it for something, you know. And, but now they, the, the way these oats are, they do, I was telling them before, they look a little, like with the oats, they kind of look a little jagged kind of, they're not like a smooth muffin, but they're delicious. So we're not worried about it. Just, you know, use your judgment, putting them in, you know, and you can really fill them. I was, cause I was like, why do I have so much batter left? But I filled them up this morning and um, as you'll see, they, they turned out great. So they don't really like overflow, in other words, you know, like you'd have a muffin that would come out. Studio audience, look at this. Look at that. Uh -huh. Now are you coming from Kansas? Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, and you can, you know, Come on, judge your, yeah, that's neat. and I kind of like, you know, yeah. smooth them out, whatever, yeah. no, I like whatever them. makes them, you know, 
No way, no. But I am anxious to see how they are in this, in the, um, see, now I'm, I'm, they should pass up, I like right. that. And I'm, you know, I'm on a time no, thing here, so I'm kind of just giving you the yeah, gist cool. of it, but um, they turn out fantastic. They don't, we're passing out samples now. Here we so, <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this over here. And let's uh, see. I wonder if you can eat that, the raw one. <laughs> I feel like licking it. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, you know what I mean? Right. Oh, I, yeah, sure. You yeah. know, you know, some are raw. Oh, right. There's no raw. No you can egg. eat raw. I, I, there's, there's no egg, you know, egg. there's no egg in there, you know. Um, oh, my God. Good. Good, huh? Very good. And, and, like I said, you know, I had to try one this morning. And how many so it was warm and boy, it was fantastic. It was warm with the chocolate chips just melting. Of, um, sweetener did you use? I, I forgot. I used a quarter cup of quarter cup only of maple syrup. Oh, mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. You guys don't eat eggs or any animal products is that from a moral ground you don't want to hurt animals or do you think animal products are bad like i eat eggs for protein uh, so is you think eggs are bad for you or you don't want to hurt animals no. both yes yes the plant-based picture comes from a health perspective that if you look at um, the, if you look at what is the most health promoting diet, it is a whole food plant based. Oh, good. I mean, as you can see, it, it prevents disease, it reverses disease, and it can really helps the healing and longevity. So, um, yeah. I'll give you some literature about it or yeah, get online and, and we there's a whole bunch of I think the pumpkin really makes great improvement. Yes. No, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. You're right, right. And if you um yes, so a lot of it is again, mm -hmm. eggs are but if you look this at the benefits of eliminating eggs, eggs nice eliminating dairy, they're yeah. very inflammatory, sure. very Okay, I'm, I'm to oh, yeah, very well. I know with the black and brownies, you can make those with sweet potatoes too. I'm not you doing that today, but there's the recipes out there, you know. Yeah, yeah, potatoes. I was just thinking you yeah. somebody brought uh, something with sweet potato at the picnic, mm. but then this is easier because it's yeah. a can. Yeah. Well, kind of sweet just potato, get, you right. have to bake. Right, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I try to keep it simple. Like I said, that I can get up and, you know, um, in the morning, if I'm in the mood for something sweet or to take something into work, I, I'm, you know, throwing it all together. And I mean, I've gone to, I've gone to like a, a health food store kind of thing and they have, you know, muffins out and everything and they're $4, four dollars four fifty for one. Mm -hmm. oh, really? I mean, and like this is this big. Yes, and this is simple ingredients to just you know. So, I mean, it's an app sweetness, which is, I'm very yes. surprised. Yes, isn't it? Yeah, no. really, really good. Good, good. I'm glad you guys like it. They're amazing. So, what else do you know? <laughs> I'm sure you could do. I was also thinking, like, when I do the, you, she had mentioned about you could put. Um, raisins in instead of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a cup. I'm sure it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. You know, or nuts. You could add nuts. Right. I was going to say walnuts. You know, if you want to put nuts in, half either raisin, way. Half you know, you can mix it up. This is the base recipe, so I'm really sure. Good. You know, but yeah. Okay, if we're ready. Yeah. Um. Now I found this same way my black bean brownie recipe. You know. Tried to find it again online. I printed these copies for you guys. Tried to find it online. I have no idea where I found it. I punched in this. There's a lot of black bean brownie recipes out there, but mm -hmm. this one has the almond flour, the peanut butter, applesauce. Oh my God. Okay. And other ones, 
are lacking some of that or they're putting sugar in and you know i had a heck of a time and i have not found it i i'm glad i printed one mm -hmm. i found one at home and i'm like wait a minute i even googled black bean brownies with almond flour but couldn't find it anywhere so i don't know if it was taken off or what but i have the recipe because this i've made several different you know for like fourth of july we're talking a two-year span fourth of july or something like that and they're like mom these are dry these are horrible you know i mean so i took this one, I will say, is the go-to best one that I found. So that's what I'm making for you guys. No okay? oil, right? No oil. No, no oil. oil. No eggs. Okay. So <clears throat> I brought my things to demonstrate. So I just got a basic, you know, black beans. Okay. R drained and rinsed. I just took one of them little strainers, rinsed them out, you know. Um, and then... I put them in here for you. So it's the whole can, okay? So the whole can. Okay, and then my cup of peanut butter here is a mess. But I'll show you that, what I did here is half a cup of peanut butter. And you're using regular peanut butter? Well, here's what I have. Something else I found. <laughs> okay, so I get this is um, Crazy Richard's 100% peanuts. The only ingredient is peanuts. Okay, well, it was like Christmas morning about two weeks ago. I went into Giant Eagle and I never saw, you know, I take my lunch breaks usually and go there, and I never saw 100% peanuts crunchy. And I'm like, where did that come from? Oh never God. saw, never found this in Walmart, never found it anywhere. And, you know, peanuts. So I did, I wasn't sure with you guys making the brownies for you guys to sample, but I did put some in here for this next one just to try it, you know. But, you know, if you're having a sandwich or something, a peanut butter sandwich or something, mm -hmm. you want, I was excited. I was I like, hey, a, I never saw that. I so, have a yes. I have heard of peanut butter powder. Yeah. yeah. Now, how do you make it into that? Because there's some liquid in, or how do you use peanut butter powder? I had always wondered. Well, a lot of that. people use it in smoothies. It's just add water. Yeah, and a yeah, lot add of water. Things. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But they will tell you how much to put it. So yeah. To eat on there. The peanut butter that right. is in that bottle. Right. Okay. But I found when I've used it, Powder of peanut butter in a recipe like this. Mm -hmm. It's not as strong a flavor of peanut mm -hmm. butter. It's very mild. It's very weak. You get a hint of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. This is much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would just last calorie. This yeah, is they, the, 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 powder the, powder fat, the powder has less fat. The powder has less fat in it. So what I do, like I made an uh -huh. Asian peanut butter we had that we dipped the um, egg rolls in. I did half regular and half powder. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Why well, add extra liquid? It says to I'm probably not. Oh, okay. 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 I'm sorry to that's okay. as well. That's okay. And you know, you can tweak anything. Yes. I mean, yes. I'm yes. I'm just saying this was the best black bean brownie one that I found. So anything you want to, you know, interchange, whatever, great. So and then it, this calls for almond flour. Quarter cup, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I said it's just the ingredients in this one is just the best. So I, I this is my go-to one for anything. Then I got the um, cacao powder, and I got that also at Laps, okay. Which they're telling me they're doing away with it. I, I don't know. Um, quarter cup of that also, but for the powder, buck ninety-three. I mean, so people say, oh, you know, plant-based is. Uh, I, I can't afford that and it's expensive. Hey, I went to the store last week. I came home and told my husband because I haven't bought like Hellman's mayonnaise, $8.95. <gasps> and I was I was like, well, this is a this is a, a store out by my house. It's a little bit smaller, but not really. Okay. Then I get the ad for Giant Eagle. Hellman's is on sale for six something, regular price, eight something. When I was buying it, it was four bucks or two for five or whatever. So, you know, this is cheap here. This isn't doesn't cost, you know, like I just said, $1.93 for this whole thing, you know, a last year for how many recipes, 
you yeah. know. Walmart has that uh, powder, cacao powder. Oh, they do? Yeah. Yes, in the bag, bag. in the bag, right? So yeah. Between cacao powder and cocoa. Between cacao powder and cocoa. Is there's there a, a difference? Yes. Um, oh, really? Yes. Isn't there, Sally? There's a little, yes. there's, it's more, it's like cocoa, like you'd make hot cocoa too, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, one is, yeah. Um, cocoa, cocoa is a little bit more processed. More processed. More oh, there's also that. Yes. 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 Like, you can um, still use it, the, uh, especially the dark one, but but it is a little bit more processed than cacao powder. I like cacao powder because it's a stronger chocolate taste. And then that dining will carry that? I don't, know. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. I can sure that Walmart carries it. It's so far from I really the think so. Giant, the, the giant the acre diamond. here is it, now with the market district. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so I now, get it online. now I have a half a cup of maple syrup. Mm -hmm. So I'm using my maple syrup, right? For your sweetness there. Okay. And then I didn't bring the whole thing, but I'm using unsweetened, no sugar added um, applesauce. Okay, so one and a half tablespoons. Our oil, honey. Right. Yeah. There you go. There. All right. And then um, one and a half teaspoons of our vanilla. Wow. Okay, and then the same just like before with this, we're just doing a quarter now of the baking powder and baking soda. Mm. Okay. Now I don't know how we're going to be on uh, with the noise. But it shouldn't be too bad because we're. Oh, you here. can dance. Go ahead and dance. <laughs> <laughs> so now I mastered this too. It takes a little, you know, because uh, sometimes the powder doesn't go down, you know, at first and everything. And I'm, I'm sure you're not allowed to, you know, I have the thing that goes down the middle of this. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I use this. And um, so what I did. Now this is this this one's a little more messy recipe to make because I have to maneuver some of this. But my goal on this is to get the black beans as you know, yeah, sure. but you can get in less invisible okay. ways you can get it. Right. But you can use a food processor too. Yeah, I mean, I have before I bought the Vitamix. I mean, even with my smoothies, uh -huh. I've I've used the um just a blender and like the kale is like parsley kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. Here it's like puree oh, okay you know okay. so exactly. now now what happens with the vitamix if you can hear it will stop you know it stops right away like it, it'll want to so what i did this morning like i said which i'm sure isn't the correct way i watch it and i and i just go right here not away from the play you know and i'm i watch and i watch down here and i see those skins processing to where you know and then I just tell him I pretend like I'm not turning him up so he doesn't get mad. And then, you know, I just go like this and I push it down in there so I get all the powder, you know, so he doesn't get, it'll get to where it stops. Okay. So your Vitamix is a male. Yes. Of course, that makes sense. I don't know his name, but yeah. he's, I talk to him when I say, come on, work with me, so you know. Small yes. Okay. Victor Vitamin. <laughs> Victor. Victor. Yeah. Vitamin. Now see, and already it's it's mixing, you know. And my biggest um, obstacle is getting it away from the blade when I put it in the pan, you know. But just you know, it does take a little bit to just work it, but you know, once you get the hang of it, you can you can crank him up. So why you don't know. you just turn it on high yeah. and why don't you use the it'll stop? You don't use the tamper. Yeah, you mean the, the thing that goes yeah. down in? Yeah. I have, but okay, I have a question. everything is on the side this morning with me with this, and I'm like, I'm, I'm doing it, and it, it looks like already, it looks amazing. You know what? How about a little uh, milk, like non-dairy milk, non-dairy, because that's the secret of uh, using vitamins, is to add a little liquid, correct? I say no. Yeah. No? No? 
I'm now that I have it smoother, yeah. I'm cranking it up a little bit, okay? I see. That's your and, technique. Okay. And it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, you're still because of your ninja blender. Well, yeah. it's, the reason yeah. is, guys, it's, it's thick. This is really okay. thick. Now, when I found this recipe, this is the pan they use. So I have my silicone. They use this market. And, and it was cut in like pie shapes. Okay. So being that I was making a couple batches this morning, I put it in here and I did do that. And I just cut them in squares for everybody. Okay. But then I found I had this one from that lady, you know, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to try this one either way. Um, and this morning I made a mistake. Now it tells you um, to use at least half of the chocolate chips. So I started dumping it in and I'm like, uh-oh, forgot the chips. So it's easy to get it out of here, kind of. I was kind of like, eh, you know, I dumped it in. I swishled it, you know, a little bit. So just swishled, I think. Swishled. My words. I know. Swishled it up. A lot. Right. Three-quarters cup. Well, it's a um, three-quarters cups in here. And you want to put half in. And then now what I'm going to do here I have my spoon here because you got to get it away from the blade. So that's the that was my dilemma this morning was like that you just got to work with it because it's all and you'll see how thick it is. Okay, but wait till you taste them. Okay, wait till you taste them. All right. You know what? Joy, Joy, yes, we will ask her. Because she's vegetarian and she's making gluten. What's up? Yeah, black bean brown. Brown bean. Let's see what she says of your fashion. Hey. Mine has red. Oh, yes. Let's see. Let's see. I'm telling you, just open that container and smell them. They're just going to be awesome. All flour would be gluten free, right? Yeah. And you know what? Excuse me, Joy. Yes. What flour did you use before when it was yuck yuck? What you mean? Yeah, when, you, when you didn't like the, the recipes you didn't like, was there a different flour that you used? You know, and I don't know. Translate. Some of them had like a flax egg. I mean, there was a lot of different you know recipes. On you know what the maker of this is? Because almond flour has a lot of natural oil content. Yes, it does. That's the secret of baking without oil. Choose almond flour. That's what I found out. Yeah. And to make it approximate something with oil. That's why I, I, yes. I, I don't know. I never made the brownie, brownie, black bean brownie. Mm -hmm. My recipe is peanut butter. And I'll, I'll uh, peanut, peanut butter has some peanut butter to me, you know, adds it. Like a research. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to eat this all the time. Yeah, I But I, I had a, uh, actually, a, a meeting with a group of ladies and once a month oh my and, god and we bring a snack and i said oh i make black bean brownies and that and they said well we volunteer joyce for the snack oh my god and they loved it they loved it i love this your your chocolate chip too that's just Jainiga. yes I, that's where i found them but i mean i got the regular ones at walmart you know the okay i never used so then we've got, we go. got like a quarter cup left, you know, yeah. and I just, you know, just go over top. Oh, this is good. I nice. took them. Great. Thank you. So any recommend oh any recommendations for a chocolate chip brand? I know a lot of people used Enjoy. Yeah. Oh my God. Did I take a yeah. picture? No. I like Santa Barbara chocolates. I just, but those I know um, you can order. So yeah. any I other? Just, you know, um, and then like when I bake them, when I bake them, I, um, you know, use the, the only thing is I put a toothpick in, you know, and it says now when it says on here, 25 minutes or whatever, I set the thing for 25 minutes and that's what I did. And I took a toothpick and poked at it, you know, and it's hard because you're getting the chocolate on it. Right. I'm like, is it done? Is it not done? Okay. Well, it's not, um, you know, there's no eggs or anything in it. it and, but very moist, and that was the like the exact time. Oh, I yeah. pulled it out at that time on both pans. Uh, same with the muffins, mm -hmm. because I stuck the muffins, yeah. 
And I'm like, okay, I'm getting chocolate. I'm not really getting any, any of the pumpkin mixture. And they were great. And it does say on here to let it cool for an hour. And, you know, I'm usually digging at them and everything. But I did. I let it sit for an hour today. And I will say they cut perfect. They come out with a little spatula. Perfect. You know, it's for me to bring them here for you guys, you know. So I, I would recommend leaving it sit for the hour and really letting it just set. And, you know, these are great the, for people who aren't plant based, but wouldn't, you know, you just they want it. it's so rich. Right. Tasty. And, and, and that's what I said. Like I, you know, I took them into work and that's the tough crowd, you know, with donuts yeah. and things like that, work environments, you know, and, um, that we, can I have another, especially the muffins. I found a lot of people were coming in. Can I have another one of those? And I'm like, go ahead, you know, and, and. To think they're not eating all the oils and everything. Yeah, it's yeah. not hard, you know, yeah, it's not good. Right. It's not that once I started really like I'll get my, a lot of my recipes are like, what am I in the mood for? You know? Yeah. Yeah, and the niche, the niche. then I'll look it up. Like, like I made zucchini bread forever, you know, in my life. I remember and those photos of zucchini that you were posting so on Facebook. Yes. My brother has a garden size of a football field. Oh, you, have, you have a plant based <laughs> zucchini recipe? Absolutely. Oh, I you know what? I'll tell yeah. you what. That's very good. Yeah. Law. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, you know what? Oh, Don't laugh. <laughs> So I understand so completely. My I go off of what I get. So my brother will say, um, "Hey, you got to come get these zucchinis." And I mean, I've even posted before what he's given me, you know. And it's like I've got ten zucchini, and I'll give some away at work, right? And I'm like, okay, I've got to make something with them. So I'll do the bread. I'll do there's zucchini muffins. You can make anything. I mean, so if you put in like way, the way I'm trying to do with with my lifestyle and trying to get his I'll put in uh you know zucchini plant-based zucchini desserts and go from there it's a bread it's a muffin it's cookies whatever um I will say another you know specialty you know that I really like and everybody at work and places like that like my my kids will eat it you know is the lasagna and I'll use the lasagna you know, use the mandolin for the lasagna you use it Use the, the the mandolin and even do it round so that when you cut it and I will do eggplant. So I will do like the sauce, the noodles. I'll layer it with eggplant or portobello mushrooms or whatever. And I I don't really like the plant-based cheeses and things like that. I'll drizzle a little bit on top maybe. One time I put it in the middle and to me it was like yeah. slimy almost. Yeah. I didn't, you know. Yeah. And I think it depends. The Daya one I found was a little, you know, almost more greasy like I was like this can't be good you know mm -hmm. so but um it's excellent and you know and then I'll put spinach in there fresh spinach and I'll put a layer of that and I do make my cashew ricotta oh so God. when I make yeah, yeah. that yeah. I just do one layer I don't get crazy I just do like <laughs> one layer of that and everything and you know my children will eat that same with the burgers I make burgers with the portobello mushrooms and everything and my son said, Mom, I would rather eat these than a regular burger. Wow. I mean, they have the, hey, their, back. it's the, um, Sally, it's the, um, back. <laughs> what do you call that? <laughs> oh, Sherry Shirillo. Um, it was her burger recipe. And I did put that in a food processor. I will say it was a lot of ingredients, but it was like, it was limited. It was like a quarter of all spice. You put mm. all spice, quarter teaspoon of all spice. Yeah, you know, half a teaspoon of this. And, and I was like, oh, these ingredients. And, but once you have everything and you throw it all together and it makes at least 10 burgers. Nice. So for somebody that's even by themselves, like I had a lady at work that she said, um, it's just me, you know, and I'm, she's the one that's transitioning and really, you know, I said, make these burgers, put them in the freezer, sure. pop them in the microwave, heat okay. them up however you want. Fantastic. You yeah. know, so there's a lot of things out there is what I'm trying to say. Just, you know, look it up and, and you know. Where can we find the recipe for the burgers? Is it Sherry oh. Shrawa? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. S-H-R-A-L-L. Yes. -L -L it was her first, actually. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'll, I will, I'll put it in the newsletter. Yeah. 
and there, because like somebody said, else is online saying, can we get it? So yeah, I mean, not the newsletter, I'm sorry, in the email tomorrow. Okay. And there's a lot of them. And then also this Isabella's Burgers, which is Stephanie's daughter. She does it with sweet potato. And I think there's, um, what's there, Teresa, four, three, three, yeah. three or four ingredients. And I think you've made sweet them before, potato. right? I make them all the time. They it's, are just so good. It's and black so beans, easy. right? Black, black beans, beans, sweet potatoes, oats, um, onion powder and garlic powder. Yeah, I think that's it. it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So yeah. if you, you know, if They're you want to really put good. 10 ingredients into one I'm burger or whatever, or I something simple like that. Or, or we can go, okay, one step that. further, yeah. like Lazy yeah. Sally does. You order freeze-dried on the, uh, what, what's it called? We, uh, we talked about it one meeting and I showed it, but I order it, I'll put it in that email too. You just add water. Yeah. It's really, you can make the little burgers, you can make the what? even my husband likes what? it. What? What? Oh. Say, that again. Say that again, do it again. Okay, I'll put it in the email tomorrow. What, what are you talking about? Burgers. <laughs> you have the ingredients, you want the ingredients, a leg for um, Italian seasoning, ordered on, I ordered it on in Amazon, comes and then you last you put it in water, you let it sit for 10 minutes and you can put it on. In a pan, you can like whatever you want. Wait, wait, wait. It, oh, what it has only the seasoning. No, well, it has that whole thing. It has the beans and it has the and it's dry. Yes. Yes, you can. Oh. You can. And somebody says, "How about soy curls?" Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm. I'm I mean, Joyce, this is fantastic. So thank you. I had a good time, guys. I hope you like it. Like I said, it's just a, yes, you know, Mike. The, oh, the recipe will be emailed to you. Don't you worry out there. Any other questions from the um, audience online or in person? Can I say Dr. Roll? Hey, it's here if you want to do. You want to eat? I don't you need a spoon. I don't have a spoon. Right there. Amazing, Joyce. I mean, I yeah. thought you I put mean, the black beans in there, but you yeah. would never know. No, no. There's black beans no. in your house. You would never know that there's black beans. Mail sam somebody's yeah, requesting maybe. to mail samples. They don't want to fly here. <laughs> to mail samples. <laughs> yeah. Ricotta, cashew no, ricotta. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Give you that recipe. Yeah, the cashew ricotta. Yeah. I um uh when I cut them, I let them sit for an hour. But like, you know, when I cut them then and even was scooping them up, they oh. were just so moist. Oh, they you know, are. and like I said, I've made other ones before that I was like, these are hard or not really hard, dry, a little dry. And I don't know, this is the best one that I found I like that, that has, you know, I like it. has everything in it here and simple. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So, and, and maybe if you do like a, your, you know, if you do a, um, food process or something, you know, depending what kind it is, you probably have to really, you know, scrape the sides and everything. I mean, the Vitamix pretty much pulverizes it, but, you know, um, other than that, you saw how long I, you know, did you know that. What? It's yeah. very good raw. Both of them. <laughs> well, she it. Sorry, but it's really, she she out of your oh. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. So you think how they would be in the freezer. It would be excellent. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and roll yeah, into a cookie, whatever you want. A cookie bowl. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. You know, not for just eat them out of the pan. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know what? You, can, you know what? You can put bourbon. <laughs> like I do. Okay. Or do bourbon. Chocolate peanut yeah. butter balls. Yeah. And you can do. Oh, um, okay. I <laughs> you can do really small ones too, like, like little cookie yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I like it. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. in your, uh, you get in that mood, you know, at mm -hmm. night, you want something chocolate or whatever. I bet they and, freeze you know, well too. I, bet that's, I would think they would. You know, I, mine's never lasted. Because I'll take them to, like I said, if, and if I make them for the kids or anything, for their lunches or whatever I'm doing with that or the grandkids, whatever, and then um, I'll just like, yeah, I'm not going to put this away. I'll take it to work. And I just get rid of it, you know, so I don't really enjoy it, you know. Yeah. So You can tell it, it shows that you enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. How about that carrot cake that you showed us? 
Oh, your daughter, that my daughter made that. So yeah, she couldn't come today, but she made it for my birthday. And um, because last year she said, you know, like I told you before about getting the grief of eating the way I'm eating and, you know, all this good stuff that that ship sailed, thank God. So now they're doing things for me, which is great. And especially my daughter, she's like, you know what, uh, mom, I made you this double layer chocolate cake or whatever. And guess what? It's plant. And I'm like, you're kidding. You know, that she took the time. That meant more than anything to, to just do that, you know. And uh, this year it was over the moon because she said, I made a carrot cake. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. You know, I mean, I know it's all good, but I mean, I ate that every day. I come over. Are you up yet? I'm coming over to get a piece of cake. You know, it was delicious. It was delicious. So what was so. What did she use? She didn't tell you? Uh-uh. No, I don't know. I did. I think, I, I think she did give me the recipe. <laughs> you know but yeah it was you know yeah they're like i said it just tried to now now the only one i haven't that still thinks i'm eating fillets and everything is the, my husband you know he's <laughs> he he said the other day if i make two of these steaks you're gonna eat one i haven't eaten a steak in years <laughs> i don't know if he thinks i'm hiding in the closet eating steak or what <laughs> i'm not okay yeah. And, and I just go, no, that's okay. And I just go, you know, um, but the, the children and everything have had, and um, my daughter, she was having a couple of little issue kind of things. And I started making her smoothies and all this good stuff. And she's very private. So I wasn't going to say anything, but um, within like a couple of weeks, I made a comment to her about, yeah, mom, it's all the, the problem's gone, but I didn't want to tell you it, from the plant. So she has really stepped it up and she even went to the doctors and she said, well, I'm, I'm like, um, you know, semi plant based. I'm really, I'm, but I'm not completely committed. And this is a regular PCP. The one that found this, um, her husband had an issue. He had thyroid cancer or something. He went plant based, a doctor, you know, he, he, sometimes, you know, with the doctors, you, you don't know what, you know. And um, he's cured. And um, she told my daughter, well, imagine if you were committed where you would be. Wow. And so I love that I have a doctor yeah. that is absolutely. And she she's fantastic. Wow. And she knows I'm doing this. And she's even told, you know, because you're I don't think she's we're not supposed to tell each other stuff. But my daughter came home and said um, she did tell me you should go plant based and support your mother. You know, this is like two years ago or whatever, you know. And um, she's, she's almost there, you know, I catch a couple of things, but I mean, all in all, she has her smoothies in the morning. I do kale and black seeds, chia seeds, my fruits. I do some powders. I do like a, like a plant powder kind of thing. That's so uh, you mean protein? Yeah. A little bit of powder. Just I, that's the nutritionist. Said, do you, you know, exercise and, and do yoga? No, I was just wondering how complete is your routine? Well, I'm supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> but I do have, I have a treadmill and I do go on it. Uh, I, I figure when I hit a mile, okay, I'm good. You know, yeah, yeah. and uh, I don't really, you know. Um, How about yoga? No, not really. Um, there's a class every Sunday that I should be on, but I don't get on it that often, you know. Um, but I'll go on the treadmill and I do. I have a dog that, you know, he's, oh, yeah, that's he's not plant. He's a wiener dog. He's not plant-based. <laughs> so uh, he's yeah. like a sausage. Yeah, yeah. And um, relaxing. I have to take him usually for a walk. You know, good. But, you know we've, oh, we've, we've, we've gathered we've enough. Been, we've gathered. We haven't. I just have to give you a uh, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Don't make me cry. Did you make your picture? Yes, you did. Teresa, go sure. Teresa, wait, wait, wait. And then Teresa. Oh, wait. Okay, Maya. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope everybody had fun. I mean, I was that. Give you some ideas. Give you some ideas. Yeah. 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 Yes. And I mean, we know we have all of our sweet tooths here, but absolutely, if, if, if Sally would ever have me back or whatever, I would love to do oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the recipe. The lasagna. Lasagna. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can make two pans before I get here, I guess. 